Hi, and welcome everyone to the Genomic Forecasting Symposium. My name is Rebecca Ullman, uh, and I'll be hosting you to today together with my co-organizer, Cecil Jentoft, who just waved. We we're actually in the same room together for the first time in half a year, so we're very excited about that, and uh, we're really thrilled to have you all here virtually and to hear about all the fascinating research uh, that our speakers are up to. We're so grateful to them for taking the time to share their research, especially in uh, these times uh, when there are so many extra challenges. Um, so yeah, we're also especially excited by the fact that all of our speakers are sort of at or near the start of their careers post PhD, and yet they've accomplished so much already. Um, so we think this really speaks to a bright future for the field of genomic forecasting. And now I remembered to put do not disturb on. All right. So today we're here to answer the question, how can genomics help us predict and sustain biodiversity in a changing world? We think that the answer to such a complex question um, lies in connecting theory uh, with empirical data and sharing knowledge across diverse systems. So that's why the first session today will be largely focused on theoretical approaches uh, to this question. And the second session, after a short break, will focus more on empirical studies. Um, and this will hopefully enable us to draw some new connections between concepts, um, data, and methods. We're also going to hear about everything from bacteria to plants to insects and fishes. Uh, so hopefully we can all learn new things from these systems that we can then take back into our own. Um, some technical notes. If you have questions for speakers, please post them in the dedicated channel of the Slack workspace. If you haven't signed up for that yet, uh, you can find the link in your registration email and we suggest that you do that now. Uh, we'll also take questions from the Zoom chat for those of you unable to join Slack, but these won't be available after the meeting, so we'd really prefer that you use the Slack if possible. Um, another reason for this is because we won't have time to answer all the questions live, so if you put them on the Slack, the speakers can get to them afterwards. On Slack, you'll also find channels for general discussion, uh, questions for the organizers, and random stuff like if you want to post a picture of your cat watching along with you. Uh, after all the talks, we'll have another short break and then a panel discussion where we'll try to zoom out a bit and discuss where the field is going and importantly, what is needed to get there. Then because the schedule is, you know, pretty tight and the webinar format we know isn't very interactive, um, we'll switch over to a Zoom meeting for a more informal social hour where you can chat with the speakers or other participants in smaller groups. Uh, the registration link for the social hour is separate and it is right below the main registration link on the website, uh, which is of course, www.genomicforecasting.weebly.com. Um, before we get started, I really wanna thank the institutions that made moving this event online possible. Um, that's the Center for Ecological and Evolutionary Synthesis and the Institute of Biosciences at the University of Oslo, the Center for Coastal Research at the University of Ogder, and the James S. McDonnell Foundation. These institutions are really invested in solving complex ecological and evolutionary problems for the betterment of our planet, and we couldn't have pulled this off without their support. Um, we also wanna thank our super awesome communications and tech support, Dr. David Schiffman. David is an amazing shark scientist, science communicator, an all around awesome problem solver I've learned. Um, and he's a lovely person. So we couldn't recommend him more highly uh, to help with events like this. Um, so with that, I'll hand things over to Cecil who will chair the first session. Uh, so enjoy and thanks again for being here. 